This lesson explains how to describe and identify rectangles that are partitioned into two or four equal shares. Let's talk about splitting rectangles into equal parts. This rectangle has been split into two equal parts. Each part is half of the rectangle written as 1 over 2 or 1 half. This rectangle is split into two parts, but the parts are not equal. Notice how one of the parts takes up more than half of the rectangle and one part is smaller. Therefore, these are not halves. You can only talk about halves when the two parts are equal or the same size. These are two different rectangles. One is smaller than the other. Both are split into two equal parts. Each part of the rectangle is one half. The size of the rectangle does not matter. You're comparing a part to the whole rectangle. Each part is half of its whole. This rectangle is split into four equal parts. Each part is a quarter of the rectangle written as one over four. This rectangle is split into four parts, but the parts are not equal. Therefore, these are not quarters. These are two different rectangles. One is smaller than the other. Both are split into four equal parts. Each part of the rectangle is one quarter. The size of the rectangle does not matter, just like the rectangles you saw earlier split into two parts. You're comparing a part to the whole rectangle. Each part is a quarter of its whole. Daryl and his sister are sharing a brownie equally. Each person gets one half. Now think about if Daryl had to share a brownie equally between his sister and his two parents. What part of the brownie would each person get? Since he has two parents, himself and his sister, he needs to split the brownie evenly among four people. Each person gets one quarter. Look at the images. Which one is bigger? A half is more than a quarter. So if Daryl only had to share the brownie with his sister, he would get more of it. Remember that fractions need to be divided into equal parts. See you next time.